I'm Douglas Mason, President and CEO of Rainy Mountain Royalty Corp., RMO on the TSX Venture Exchange. Rainy Mountain's Brunswick property is located in the Rideout Shear Zone in Ontario. With grab samples running as high as 32 grams per tonne gold, a drill program will commence this spring to test the numerous targets located by recent groundwork. For more information, visit our website, rmroyalty.com. You're listening to HowStreet.com Radio, available online at TalkDigitalNetwork.com. Welcome to HowStreet.com Radio, the online source for market opinions. Here is Jim Goddard. Our guest is Tim Cyclesman-Wood, editor of Cycles News and Views, which you can find online at Cyclesman.com. Welcome to the Easter edition of the show, Tim. Man, speaking of Easter, it makes me nervous going into the weekend with uh, all the stuff going on in the market and the kind of the position it's in. Um, kind of nerve-wracking, actually. Turkey, ham, or sizzled bacon? <laughs> uh, man, it's looking like sizzled bacon right now. What's going to happen with gold, do you think? Well, let's go through all of it um, and and talk about it. Um Gold, uh, you know, we had the low in December that everybody's been so excited about. <clears throat> and, uh, then we had, you know, of course, looked like a, well, what didn't look like it was a little top in March. And then we saw a little bit of weakness into mid March. And then we've seen this rally here. It has changed nothing. Uh, my opinion is still not changed. Um, it's, uh, I think it, the, the rally out of the December low, it's still a counter trend rally. Yes, it's lasted a little longer than I thought, but it hasn't changed anything yet. And, uh, you know, we had an intermediate term buy signal, uh, the, the week of March 24th. And as of this recording, that buy signal is still in place and has been. Uh, I've been covering it in the short term updates. Uh, so it's there. Uh, I'm not denying the rally, but, uh, I do think that it's a, a counter trend rally. And until I see something, if I see, you know, structural, until I see structural evidence to prove that something else is going on, then I have to go with um, the evidence at hand, and the evidence at hand tells me it's still a counter-trend rally. So I'm still, you know, while on the one hand we have the intermediate term buy signal, on the other hand, the view that it's a counter-trend rally has not yet changed. Uh, crude oil is pretty much the same way. Uh, we had the intermediate term, an intermediate term buy signal the week of uh April 7th, you know, it, it, it lagged just a little bit. But again, I think that um, within the context of everything, that it is a counter-trend rally. And in fact, we've seen um, some weakness, pretty good weakness today in, in uh oil service sector. Um, I haven't looked at natural gas, but as of day before yesterday, uh, we started to see natural gas rolling over. And, and, you know, everything's kind of, you know, ebbing and flowing and bouncing together. So we're starting to see, I think, um possibly that counter trend rally coming to a head um you know it's it's getting in the ballpark so again on the one hand yes we have the intermediate term buy signal on the other hand i maintain counter trend and then you know even if you look at the crb index which is you know a basket of commodities you know there there was an intermediate term buy signal the week of march 31st and again that's still intact but again i think it's counter trend the whole basket What's interesting, I also see with bonds, <clears throat> I think there's been a longer-term low in bonds made. Uh, I can't quite prove it yet structurally. All the structural evidence is not not quite there, but I've been watching it. I've been talking about it in the letter. I don't know if you read that, uh, released the letter. I guess it's been two weeks now. And covering it in the updates and, and, and even talked about it going before the letter, uh, moving into the low that we saw in March. Um, I think that was a much longer term bottom in bonds and so um, like I said that's not 100% confirmed yet but I'd call it 85 to 90% confirmed and it looks to me like um, bond prices are like I said major low there and that their bond prices are going to move higher we'll have more with Tim Wood right after the break Avon Resources Limited is a gold exploration company with significant projects in British Columbia, Saskatchewan, and the Yukon. Trading on the TSX Venture Exchange, symbol ABN, and the pink symbol ABN AF. 
surrounded by world-class gold deposits and mines. Avon's 23,000 hectares Forest Kerr Gold Project is located in the heart of the Golden Triangle in northwestern BC. For more information, visit us at avonresources.com. I'm Larry Ray, President and CEO of American Manganese, Inc. Listed on the TSX Venture, ticker symbol AMY, A-M-Y, with proprietary patents in the U.S., China, and South Africa. Our focus is on recycling lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles. China recently legislated the responsibility for recycling onto their electric vehicle manufacturers and importers. For more information, please visit AmericanManganeseInc.com or phone me, Larry Ray, at 778-574-4444. Welcome back. We're speaking with Tim Cyclesman Wood. Tim, what's the projection for the U.S. dollar? People were really high on it just a short time ago. I know. And, you know, if you've been following along in the letter, um, you know, I've said that, you know, every cycle has, or every index or commodity or whatever the case would be, it has its own rhythm, its own cycle. And, and you know, in equities, there's a Typically, what's normally a four-year cycle, historically been a four-year cycle, there's been some obvious distortions there lately. But, you know, with bonds, there's like a three-year cycle. and gold, there's a nine-year cycle. Well, in a dollar, it happens to be a four-year cycle, longer-term, dominant cycle. And, you know, I've been talking about in the in the letter that I thought the four-year cycle top in um, the dollar was in place. And, you know, a lot of these views aren't popular because, you know, they can't see over the horizon with that kind of stuff. But I, I, I maintain that, yeah, I think the four-year cycle top has probably been seen in the dollar. Um, I, again, that's that's not 100% confirmed yet. The cycle, the longer the degree of the cycle, the more time it takes to confirm it. But ideally, we should have that top in place, and that's my thinking at this time. We had an intermediate degree low back in March, um, and then uh, 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 an, an intermediate term buy signal. I'm looking at my notes, an intermediate term buy signal on the dollar the week of April 7th. So we've had a counter trend bounce there, and uh, I still think that it's uh, counter trend with um, probably the the four-year cycle top in place. What's happening with the Dow? The Dow is, you know, it's the same story in a way, but I'm becoming more and more and more concerned. You know, we, we saw... We, we have to digress a little bit and, and talk about the extension of the, of the cycle into the 2015 top and the abbreviated four-year cycle low into uh, what turned out to be the August low in 15 or January, February of everything else, and then the, the parabolic move up here. <clears throat> you know, that advance has gotten so many people um, hoodwinked. Is lack of a better word. I mean, uh, yes, granted. I mean, no, no doubt. Not denying the advance. Not denying that it's it's been a distorted, stretched um, advance uh, cycle. Yes, absolutely. Um, but it does not change the fact that it is one hell of a financial train wreck. It's you know, it's it's a, it's a, a, the, the, it's a bubble. It's a parabolic bubble, and. You know, as of right now, I see some concerns. Um, I don't have anything hard and fast that, uh, you know, there's, there's not even a Dow Theory non-confirmation in place right now. But that, and, and, and can you top without one? Well, yeah, it's happened, but it's, it's rare. Uh, do we have a, a primary bearish trend change in place? No, but it can occur. Um, I'm very nervous about this this market here. I uh, I don't I don't like it. It doesn't feel right. Uh, do I have anything concrete? No. But um, you know I maintain that it it's 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 um, a mammoth bubble, and it's not gonna you know it's the same story there. It's not going to end well. And you know the sad thing is is that people have been drawn into it. Um, there's a handful of people left like myself that's been warning about this. Uh, and the fact that it is a bubble and, and nobody's listening to that, and that's fine. You know, you, you do what you want. Um, you know, my resume on these calls and stuff like this is, is, is pretty good. And, and, and I, I look at the data. Yeah, I see it for what it is. Do I have a sell signal on the, on the Dow? I, I do have an intermediate term sell signal that occurred actually the week of 
March the 24th. And then um, we had a short-term low on March the 27th. It's been so weak that it hadn't been able to, to trigger um, a short-term buy signal even coming out of that low. Uh, you know, there there are some intermediate degree lows that we've been looking for, been talking about it in, in, in later in April. And, you know, it's it's hung. It's levitated. This, is, this thing has been, um, um, I don't know, like a, a, a snake with its head cut off not wanting to die. It just keeps coming back. But I'm telling you, it's 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 very very dangerous. Um, I don't know. I, there's like I said, there's nothing in place that I can say at this time. Yeah, we've seen the top; it's about to collapse. But I'm nervous as I can be about it. I don't like it, and I know how it's going to end. I just don't. Uh, you know, we just it, it, we're in the process. I think of of some sort of a setup. Maybe we'll have more with Tim Wood right after this. Gem International is a new diamond explorer in the richest diamond producing country in Africa. Located next to the fourth largest producing diamond mine in the world. International Spotlight is on an 1109 carat diamond recently discovered in Africa by a fellow Canadian junior. With a proven operator and finance team, Gem International trades on the TSX Venture Exchange. Symbol GI. Visit us at gemdiamondmining.com. Keep informed. Receive our weekly recap of thought-provoking articles, podcasts, and radio delivered to your inbox for free. Sign up for the HowStreet.com weekly recap on our homepage, HowStreet.com. Welcome back. We're speaking with Tim Cyclesman Wood. Tim, have people been over-enamored with the so-called fangs, the Facebooks, the Amazons? Yeah, I think it's a sign of the times. Uh, you know, just like uh, you know, the tech bubble back in 2000 and, uh, you know, every, every, every advance like this has its darlings, so they say, and I think that's been the darlings this time. NVIDIA is another one. Um, absolutely. And, um, I think that is just evident of, of the times. Look, I, I know that, 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 I've been singing the bearish drum on the market, and I know that, um, you know, like I said, I mean, back in November, hey, it, it gave us a primary bullish trend change, admittedly. You know, I'm not standing in front of that. Uh, and so it's hard for people to hear both sides of the message, and I'm not talking out of both sides of my mouth either. Uh, we had a primary bullish trend change. We talked about it on the air. Uh, it's in the letter, and it's there. But it doesn't change the fact that it's still a freaking bubble. And, and, and so that's what makes it so dangerous, I think, and, and people, uh, just have no idea. I mean, you don't, I, I go back to this simple statement. There has never been, give me one, somebody email me one example, one, just one, I want one, of any bubble, any extended parabolic move in history that was sustainable. I want one. They do not exist. And the, 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 the problem is, is that people can't see where we are. But if you stand back and you really, and you look at a, a, a chart objectively, I mean, if you look at one with uh, six months of data on it, no, you don't see the bubble. But if you stand back and you really look at it and get a perspective on this, it should scare the hell out of you. And, and I'm saying it, it you know, on the one hand, yes, we had the, the, finally got the primary bullish trend change. On the other hand, it's a bubble, and it's going to end like all the others. People talk about the Trump effect and how that boosted the markets right after his election, but seeing the man in action, it doesn't look like most of his plans are going to be able to come to fruition. It's a bamboozle, I think, in more ways than one. Did he lie going in, or he just didn't realize it's pretty hard to get legislation passed in Washington? Sure it is. Sure it is. And um, I, 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 that's one of the things I think I'm, I'm sensing with the market, too. Like I said, I have nothing at this point that I can point to because everything's been blown out in the parabolic advance. There's, there's, there's nothing there, but... Um, Man, it is it is so dangerous, and it can fall in place quickly. And then again, maybe it takes a little time. I don't know, uh, but I do know it's 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 a bubble, and I do know 
that, you know, at some point we will see evidence in the form of, of uh, you know, ultimately a, a primary bearish trend change is going to tell us because that's the one thing that has occurred, and, and, and nobody can manipulate that one away. Nobody. I mean, either the either it's going it's going to happen, and then we're going to have uh, a major top uh, of, of every four year cycle top, whether that top occurred early in the cycle or whether that top occurred with the longest cycle in stock market history, i.e., 2015. That primary bearish trend change happened. It has to. It has to. It's happened with every top. And it will with this one as well. Do we have that now? No, we don't. Can it happen fairly quickly? Absolutely. But until it does, we got nothing. Um, and within the context of that, um, like I said, I maintain that it's a dangerous bubble. Some people have suggested, of course, there's that old saying, sell in May, go away. But the sell in May may happen sooner than May. Well, we're certainly trying to, see, we're, you know, we're seeing the weakness. Like I said, uh, we had a short-term cycle low in, in uh, late March, and the market's been so weak that it couldn't even trigger a buy signal coming out of that low. I mean, you can only read that as, as, as I mean, if you have a cycle low and you can't even trigger a buy signal, then you can only view that as weakness. Does that mean absolutely that, um, you know, the bottom falls out? Well, no, but it means that the market's weak and that it's struggling. Um, and so there's something there. And, and, and so that's one of the things that's making me nervous. And then, yes, I still have those intermediate degree lows, even though the market is held on and held on and held on, but we still have those intermediate degree lows ahead of us. Uh, nothing's changed with that. And then, you know, what develops as we move into those lows and certainly out of those lows is going to be key. And then, um, you know, it's, it's one step at a time. The market's very, you know, it's a fluid animal. You know, you, you, it changes every day. But um, um, pretty much my, my longer-term position, it, it, it is that it's a, it's a bubble. It, it's very scary. And I think people have been mesmerized by, um, you know, all the Trump euphoria and, and the, the parabolic move. They don't see it for what it is. And that's just human nature. People never see it for what it is. You know, I mean, it, back in 2000, uh, when it made that call, nobody saw that. Back in 2007, we said it's an extended move into a four-year cycle top, and that one set up, and, and you know, it, it happened. The, the, the saving grace there was, is that we got the set up, bada bing, bada boom, and it, and it happened. This time, it's been blown out, it's drug on, it's been extended, and so that's been somewhat discrediting. You know, in 2008, with the, uh, you know, the top in in crude oil. Um, you know, nobody believed that either. You, nobody can ever, you know, that's, we've talked about that before. It's hard to, to, linear analysis is, is easy. There was, it's up today, it was up yesterday, and it's going to be up tomorrow, or down, you know, whatever. But to look over the horizon is very difficult. And when you, the problem is, is when you get into a situation where you, you have an extended move, like we have had, where the cancer's been kicked down the road, kicked down the road, kicked down the road, then you find yourself in a position where, well, it was a bubble yesterday, yesterday, and the day before, and the day before, and the day before, and it still is today, and, and, and they hear that side of the message, and it becomes somewhat discrediting because it goes on as long as it has. That's fine. I'll take the discrediting if when someone wants to throw that stone at me. It's a freaking bubble, and it's going to blow. I'll stand by it. Tim, thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. And have a great Easter. Thank you. My guest has been Tim Cyclesman Wood, editor of Cycles News and Views, which you can find online at cyclesnews.com. I should say at cyclesman.com. You're listening to HowStreet.com Radio. Find us on Twitter at Talk Digital Net. Our YouTube channel is Talk Digital Network. You can forward questions for our guests or to the show to info at howstreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. Happy Easter. Comments made on HowStreet.com radio are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any matter whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Available online at TalkDigitalNetwork.com, HowStreet.com radio is a production of HowStreet Media Incorporated.